today we got a dirty birdie and I'm ready for some foul play. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Y'all fuck with George or nah? Wait a minute, hold up. I was in the pool. I was in the pool. Got the whole bird as you can see here. So I just caught this at the store and they have like a couple different flavors. Uh, they have like the tr traditional one and this one is like the summer season flavor. So I was like, yeah, you know, let me try something a little different. So I went for the sum summer season flavor. It's got like a little darker of a skin and a crust and everything on it, but the seasoning indicates almost like a jerk, like a Jamaican island influence. And uh, on the side, I got some baby carrots, a couple veggies. And up here, I got like these little Asian uh, almost like sushi designed dipping spots. So I got the crystal hot sauce, of course, Hidden Valley Ranch, and mayo. And you know, some of you are gonna be like, Ew, you're gonna dip chicken in mayo? Listen, every single chicken sandwich that you've ever had in your life has mayo slathered all over it. So minus the bread and lettuce, trust me, a little chicken and a little mayo, maybe a little hot sauce with it, on point. I got the old buck knife to get surgical if we gotta. But for now, I think we might be able just to tear, tear into this guy and get right to it. Immediate wing. Kinda whatever, but all right. Come on now. Mm -hmm. You know what, I wanna get into a leg. I wanna get into some serious meat. Maybe I'll just move this dude kinda of over a bit here. Thank you, sir. Much obliged, thank you for getting out of the way. Okay, here we go. Nice, some tender, good meat. Into the hot sauce, we gotta go first. Absolutely delicious. Oh, so will fall off the bone. Mayo, come on, guys. Hmm. I just want to make sure all my sauces were sugarless. Trust me, I miss the barbecue sauce. I would love to have it right now, but we're trying to stay away from the sugars. Keep cutting the body weight. I want to do mayo with a hot sauce. Mm -mm -mm. So the seasoning on this definitely has uh, like a Jamaican Caribbean style influence. I'm just tasting uh, like all spice. Very nutmeg, cinnamon-esque. Also, if I sound a little sinusy, I am. Can't seem to catch a break in this year of 2019, I swear to God. It's just like one thing after another. And you know, I was better, and then, I mean, I'm fine. I just, all of a sudden now, boom. Let's get hit with like a start of summer cold. Just so annoying. Hmm. Delicious. 
brushes. Sorry, I'm just so invested in the savagery of this right now. Just because I'm that hungry. Pro tip when you're eating chicken. Always have a boneyard on hand that you can just chuck into. All right, carrot break, something crunchy for you. Oh man. Just ravenous right now. All right, now to get into uh, the meat of it, the thick of it. To rub on the breastesis. Even though I love wings and you know I love all that other tender good meat, I just how can you not love the breast? Just the big, the nice, good, big chunks of meat. I personally think the breast is the best part. Mm, all that skin. Speaking of summer, I want to ask you guys a question because it happens to me every single summer. It's almost like when you think of a Halloween costume after Halloween and then you're like, oh yeah, like I'll remember that for next year. And then you don't, like you just do nothing about it and it slips your mind and then you're stuck with some last minute bullshit. So I have a similar, similar summer predicament. And I'm wondering if you guys experience the same. And it goes a little something like this. Especially if you live in a major city, but even if you don't, I feel like every city always has like, you know, festivals and events and music and food things and all this cool shit that you could do, right? And especially for me living in a northern climate in Canada, it's like... It's such a short window. And you gotta pack everything into it. So in order to optimize hitting all the events, I feel like months ahead of time, you should get your ass on Google and start researching what's gonna be in town when, and start proactively planning your summer. And I always, over the years, I'm always like, next summer, I'm gonna make sure I know exactly what's going on. Like I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna optimize. I'm gonna make sure I hit all this cool shit, do all these cool things, you know, schedule off days, all these things. And then summer comes, of course, neglected it, didn't do it.
all of a sudden it's like you're on like Facebook or Instagram or whatever and it's like free so-and-so concert tonight or like beer and burger event tomorrow and every time I'm like god damn it I work or I have to do something else or whatever and then I just spend up spend a whole other summer like free flying missing out all these events <laughs> working for the most part and I'm like god damn it what the shit why am I not a more proactive human So, tell me if y'all could relate. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. All right, Poppy, how are we going to play this next? Get rid of all this excess. Down a half. I don't know. I'm thinking I want just more more breast meat, more white meat. Didn't get surgical that time. One thing I know is for sure that I definitely make sure I do every summer. Is get my ass to Canada's Wonderland. And my sister's visiting. In 11 days. And she was hitting me up. She's like, yo, I want to go ASAP when I get there. If it's nice out, let's just like book our ticket. She's like, I land early AM, like 8 AM. Let's go. So that's about to go down. And like, less than two weeks and I'm hyped they have a brand new coaster there Yukon Striker supposedly setting some kind of records coasters I can't wait I definitely got to cop the fast pass if you ever find yourself going to Canada's Wonderland or really any amusement park for that matter I feel like fast path is crucial and essential. You just zip by everybody so quick. There's like such a minimal line. A 
because amusement parks are mostly all kids and families. And none of those parents are like, or very few of those parents are springing for the fast pass for the kids. When I did it last year, like I almost felt bad, <laughs> just like blasting by these kids in the line. But you ride the same ride like three times, back to back, and every time you walk up, you just see like the same kids, and they like basically haven't moved. And you're like, oh, I've ridden this three times. <laughs> you kind of feel like a dick. You're like peasant. <laughs> And you know that inside they just hate you. They're just like this motherfucker. Chicken, chicken, chicken. The other thing I've wanted to do in the summertime, which I never do, but should do, I always like forget, but I don't really know how you swing it, but I know it's possible, but like in Toronto, there's usually like a couple, there's like the pride parade. And then even like the Raptors just winning there. Like coming up with like little money hustles, like buying like a ton of tall cans and like, you know, mixed like vodka sodas and gin smashes and stuff and like throwing them in a backpack and then going down And selling, selling them for like four times the cost of what you bought them at, but also cheaper than what's selling in the, like at the parade and like in, cause the crowds are huge, right? So realistically you could like have like a backpack, like an ice cold backpack, have like a hub set up that you go back to and get more close by and like kind of stealthily schmeagle your way around. And just make a killing. Make like thousands of dollars. Probably. In like a couple nights. Cause there's just so many reckless drunk people, like gay people party like a motherfucker. Plus all the other people too, right? And everybody, that's all, they do, that's all it is, it's a giant party. It's a drinking and drugs. And there's always people looking to pay cheaper and not waiting like a line and stuff. My only concern is how illegal is it? Like, it's very illegal, but it's like, if you got busted, what are you looking at? Is it like just a slap on the wrist? Would, would it be worth it to run that risk? Or, you know, would you actually get in like some serious trouble? I don't know. I don't think so, but I personally think it'd be a slap on the wrist in Canada. I have to remember this isn't hardcore ass America. I feel like cops would like detain you and like give you a warning. But I may be wrong in that. I don't know. You might get some fines.
Definitely wouldn't do any time, I don't think. But I might get a bunch of fines and then be like thousands in the hole, so. You know, I don't know. Crime isn't really ever worth it, but it's not really crime, it's like a legal selling of it's a hustle. It's just more of like a come up. You're not really hurting anybody. Other than the other companies that are making a fucking killing anyways. Regardless of your your tiny little hustle. And Pride is coming up this, like this at the end of this month. <laughs> and I've been like plotting and scheming thinking about it, but... I don't know, seems kind of dumb. Okay, crush this whole guy except for this leg, but I'm at the point of like, I'm good. Satisfied. Very satisfied. That was perfect. Very, very perfect. H2O, of course. Get it in ya. Probably got a lot of shit in my teeth, but oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Until the next one, you know what to do. Gotta eat good, live well, stay true. Peace.